All right, we got the Stride ST6 by Rix. This is a 640 scanner, helmet mount, or you can just run it as a monocular. Check this thing out. Nice little carrying case here. It's got a uh, Molly Webbin on the back. It's pretty cool. Looks like straps. And I'm sure there was some stuff in there, but the unit itself. Helmet mount. It's like just a dovetail style mount. Uh, lanyard. And then the lanyard for the case. Lens cloth. Which probably needs to go in there. And I'm sure there's a battery and a charger here somewhere. Because this unit does take 18650s. Yep. 18650. So this is a demo unit, so the box may not be perfectly organized as what you would get at you or new. Um, does have an eyepiece here. There are only three buttons on this unit. Um, your menu, zoom, and then your record, and then you can use multiple buttons to do different things. I'll go over that later. Battery cap, it's really pretty tight, which is nice. Oh, it's got a ring seal on it for a flat top, 18650. And rubber cover and charge port. And that would be your ocular adjustment there. And of course your mounts for your dovetail. That's kind of the unit real quick. I'll go over the whole thing uh, in a second, going through menu features and how I mount it on my helmet. This is a Rick Stride ST6 640 scanner, which is a helmet mount. And that's how I'm running this current one. So um, I've been running this unit for a few weeks. This is my first helmet mount uh, scanner, especially in 640. And I uh, just want to kind of give a quick overview and my initial thoughts. And then I'll go through the um, options and menu screen and all a little bit later. But I'm currently running this unit on a uh, just a cheap knockoff Ops Core uh, helmet mount. Um, the reason for that is I, I didn't know if I was going to be able to do a scanner all the time over my eye uh, you know i read a bunch of stories and stuff where guys were getting kind of nauseous with having something in front of their eye all the time and you know they couldn't really navigate with it so i didn't want to invest a lot of money in it before i realized if i could or could not do it um over the few weeks i realized it's something i can do and to be honest i don't think i would go hunting without this now uh <laughs> this thing's kind of ruined me um I i've used scanners you know ones that sit in my chest rig or hang around my neck and they're great and all, but with this one, just having the ability to always look through it, I can keep my hands warm inside my hoodie. I know it sounds kind of soft, but uh, sometimes it's the, the simple things in life. But um, I thoroughly enjoyed it. And another thing that's been real nice is um, just navigating with it. Um, I know it, it sounds kind of crazy, but... Um, being it's a thermal, but I'm able to navigate with this pretty easily for the most part. Um, ditches and all, you still kind of got to worry about, but I've used it a few times to find like uh, drain tiles because you can see where, you know, water and stuff sitting under a drain tile and find them to figure out where to cross over through fields and all. So that's been, that's been real nice. But uh, let me take this off the helmet real quick. Um, it does come with just a standard dovetail mount. Set this over here. So, as I said, the unit comes with a dovetail. Just uses a screw in the top. There are three different positions, so you can adjust it. And then you can adjust the scanner in various different directions. I'm running just a 
knockoff Wilcox uh, G24 mount. Um, it seems to do fine. Like I said, I, I'm trying to decide if this is something I want to invest more in the long term, and, I, and I'm pretty sure I will. Uh, this unit does run an 18650 battery. Um, it's sealed, so it is weather resistant to that degree. It's got a pretty good sensor lens on it. Um, it does have an eye cup. Uh, I, I've just taken it off just because I really don't see the need for it for me personally. So I've removed it. And if I ever want to adjust the ocular a little bit, I don't have to worry about spinning the um, eye cup. The unit's fairly light. Um, th that's that's one thing I've been impressed with is I do run a battery pack on, on my helmet. And the only reason I run the battery pack isn't because of the, the battery life of the scanner. It's really just to get a little bit more balance out of my helmet setup so I don't feel like I'm constantly leaning forward. Even though I think this thing weighs, I think it's nine ounces. Um, I ran it before I put the battery pack up there and it was fine. But as soon as I put the battery pack, everything felt a little bit better. And I figure instead of just doing helmet weights, I can kind of get a dual use there. Um, I get the benefit of not really having to worry about the battery or having to charge it. And I get the balance as well. Um, I have used it as a handheld a few times. Actually, I used it this morning going to a deer stand. Um, that was kind of nice, navigating through the woods. I just would pick it up and walk through. Um, and then, of course, when we hunt. Um, I will have to say this is this has already cost a coyote their life. And the reason I say that is we had a sit in a full moon night. Um, and we had just got done hunting. And we were about to pack up and leave. And I figured, well, let me just scan around just in case. And I started scanning, and I saw one pop out of a wood line about 300 yards away, walked right down the path, and we ended up shooting them at about 70 yards. So that was that was pretty cool. And that was just because I was scanning. Um, this unit does have a pitcher-in-pitcher. Pitcher. Uh, it is a 1X base mag, so that goes back to navigating with it. It's a, it's a true 1X. Um, the refresh rate is really high i don't have a problem with any kind of lag um I, i've never if there is any i've never noticed it It hasn't caused me any problems in that regard the um the pitcher and pitcher is really nice too because i'll turn it on when we're hunting and most of the time honestly i just leave it on but it, it's been nice to just kind of scan and then if i pick up something in the distance i just kind of shift my focus of my eye to the top of the pitcher look through the pitcher and pitcher and i can see what it is i the other night I identified uh, two coyotes breaking a wood line. I think they're between four and 500 yards is where they came out. And that was, I was literally just standing there, my hands in my pocket, uh, running the call, just kind of looking around. I'm like, oh, and then realized what they were, flipped the uh, scanner up and just got on the gun. So that was, that's what's kind of ruined me <laughs> with this is uh, having the ability to do that and, and never really taking my eye off of a scanner. So, uh, even at 20, probably 30 minutes, I, I really don't get a lot of eye fatigue. I run the brightness down pretty low. Um, and I, I'm, I run white hot on everything. Uh, I haven't tried the green. There is a green, um, overlay in this. And I think that would be really good if you had some kind of eye strain. Um, I haven't tried that, but I plan on doing so. So that's been, that's been kind of nice too. Um, I guess overall, this thing is pretty awesome. Um, just to walk over it, uh, it it is very simplified from the button standpoint. There's only just the three here. I'll go over these at the end of the video. Um, to go through some of the menus and to change some of the features, you sometimes have to press both buttons at the same time, like to turn picture and picture on and off, you have to press both of these. They're not hard to find. Uh, it doesn't take long to get used to it. You can tell up here there are... The buttons are kind of recessed. There's uh, areas around it. There you go, that's a little bit better picture. So I can pick this one up pretty quick. And there are also different shapes that kind of lets you know. Um, so it's not hard to, to, you know, to go to your zoom or to, you know, turn your picture and picture on and off or even change your settings. So it's not been hard to do that. And it's, there's not a lot of feature functions in this. So you don't have to remember a whole bunch of crazy stuff. Um, for the most part, it's, you know, your normal menu settings of like Wi-Fi, changing your contrast, your brightness, which you're not going to do very often. The features that you do on a regular basis, which would be getting into the menu, turning picture and picture on and off, 
and going to your um, Zoom are, are done fairly quickly and easily. And like I said, I'll, I'll show that and I'll also show a bunch of footage I've already gotten so far at the end of this video. My plan is to do a 100 hour review when I get those uh, hours done, which I don't think is going to take long because like I said, I, I'm not going to hunt without this now. <laughs> I, I've, I've enjoyed this way too much. Um, but overall, I, I can't wait to get more time behind this. It's, it's getting colder. We're getting more active on coyotes, starting to even see a few more pigs. So hopefully I have some good footage coming your way. With that being said, if you guys got any questions, comments, or any kind of footage you want to see from the ST6 prior to my 100-hour review, just let me know, and I'll try and get that and include it in that 100-hour uh, video. So y'all have a good one, and I'm going to put this back on, and we're going to go hunting. All right, so let's turn this unit on by pressing the middle button and holding it. Start recording, which is going to be the very bottom button. I'm going to turn picture and picture on, which will be to hit the center and front button. There's my picture and picture. All right, let's see. Hit the center button to go through my different settings here. And if I want to go to menu, hit the back two. All right, so. You can go and then go through image, go through brightness, contrast. I can exit, so use the front and back button to go through the screen, go down the settings. So, this is where you turn the Wi Fi on to connect it to the RICS app. Image correction, reset the entire unit, serial number, and then we'll go back to exit again. And then we will exit out of the Menu. So the menu is pretty easy. The only thing you got to get used to is using two buttons at the same time to make something certain screens come up and then I can turn the picture and picture back off.